we did we did try submitting to to security conferences a couple of times but it turns out that when when your advisor is a pl person you become very very pl brained and so like the way that i would write my papers would not be good or useful to to cryptographers uh, so yeah mostly mostly pl mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is so funny man that is so great Oh, yeah, I was, I was asking about the functional programming part because Flip Water could see the use of monads in functional programming. I was, and, and it gets me kind of curious, like what are the other, the other beautiful little gems of concepts that we could kind of transport back into, into programming languages or functional programming or, you know, beautiful little ab mathematical abstractions. But to be honest, I, like this might be a hot take. This might get this might get me canceled for for saying this on on the on the type theory for all podcast but i don't think category theory is useful for understanding monads and haskell i think monads and haskell are a software engineering pattern that happens to have the same name as as a a category theoretic concept like i i know that this is why i started looking into category theory in the first place because i i you know drank the kool-aid or whatever but i i don't know like knowing all of this at this point like I, i'm still no better at haskell than i was before you know, like, I think it's, yeah, I think it's, it's neat that there are like, you know, sometimes these analogies that you can make or whatever, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you want to program in Haskell, you should just program in Haskell. <laughs>